Hi guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Bridges, and it has been a hot minute since I've dropped a video. I'm sorry about that. It's just been really crazy here. I've been sick for about two weeks and only just got my voice back. Um, and also we had company with the holidays and everything. And so everything just kind of fell apart. I haven't really listed much and I also have not obviously dropped any videos. So I am getting back into the swing of it. Today is January 2nd and I am back. So I, um, because there have been absolutely no sales to speak of, and because I also didn't feel like trolling a Goodwill, um, I really don't have any thrift with me footage to, um, to be able to share with you. So instead I'm doing a death pile thrift haul. So what frequently happens with Karen and I is that Karen will go through her death pile and find things that she thinks that I will like to um, list or, you know, everybody has their different vibe. They're just things that I enjoy listing more than others. And that's why some of these things linger in the old death pile. So what she did is she sent my daughter because my daughter lives in Atlanta. I live in Birmingham. And so when my daughter was coming to visit me for Christmas, she sent her back with two garbage bags of death pile stuff two that's what she told me she told me two y'all let me show you some footage of what i unloaded look at that is that two garbage bags no that is not that is like six garbage bags nonetheless i have a significant haul to go into so i what i thought i would do is i was just going to break it up into two hauls I'm, today I'm going to do only the shoes because she gave me like a year's worth of shoes. So I'm going to go through all the shoes and the boots and then on Wednesday I'll go through everything else. Okay. So um, if you're new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller and I am a full-time school counselor and I troll yard sales and thrift stores and apparently my sister's closet looking for things that I can flip for a profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace. All right, guys, let's get into it. I don't know what it's like in your neck of the woods, but in Alabama, we're undergoing like some crazy heat wave and it is super hot and humid and my glasses are steaming up. So I took off my glasses, so I might not be able to see, but at least I won't be sweating and having them slide down my nose. So the first thing that she sent over is this pair of Hunter boots. They are in really awesome condition. They are in a size six. They are not the glossies. The glossies do tend to do a little bit better for me. However, they are still in awesome, awesome condition. If you look at the treads on the bottom, I mean, they have just a ton of wear still left in them. And the real bonus is that they both have got their buckles, which is always a good thing. Probably going to get somewhere in the 30 to $35 range for these. However, I am also relying on my memory from about a year ago, which was the last time that I sold 100 boots. So it may be a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Definitely my favorite find from this thrift haul are these Tory Birch boots. They are gorgeous. They have all of the Tory insignia on the inside. They are in a size seven in this beautiful Cognac brown type of color. They are in really, really great condition. They don't have too much wear on the heels, as you can see. Um, really not sure. I have not looked up this style name, but I will definitely flash the comps up there. I'm hoping, hoping between 60 and $80. And that's really just a guesstimate on my part. I am definitely going to take the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam and just really clean them up. Although to be honest, they are really not dirty. I could probably list them like this, but I know that if I use the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam, they are really, really going to shine in those pictures that I take. So we'll definitely be doing those to get them listed. None of this stuff is listed guys because holidays. Okay. And then next is this pair of um, cowboy booties in really, really good condition. Hardly anywhere. They are, um, they are Laredo and I'm really not sure of the size. Let's put the glasses on so we can see the size. They are in a size seven and a half. So a decent size to sell. Super pretty, 100% leather, and they really don't have any scrapes or scuffs or anything to speak of. So I'm thinking somewhere around the $40 range. Okay. Um, this is just a pair of little boys Nikes, but they are in fabulous condition. If you look at the bottom, 
hardly any wear on the treads. Um, she paid $6 for these on a half price day at an estate sale, so only three bucks. And I do have to pick up some laces. Um, but I do a pretty decent job of moving kids' shoes, so I never mind picking them up, especially when they're in great condition like this. This is a brand that is unknown to me, Superga, S-U-P-E-R-G-A, Super Georgia. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about this brand. Um, Cameron does a pretty good job of looking things up. So I'm assuming that they have a decent sell-through rate, much like the Nikes, they are missing their laces. But hey, that's no big deal. I will pop into Walmart, score a pair, and be on my way with listing them. Okay, I love selling Allegria shoes. This is a different style. Usually I pick up the clogs. These were only $3 at a yard sale, and look at the bottoms. They are fabulous. Hardly any toe prints there. Allegria has a fabulous sell-through rate for me. Every single pair that I have ever listed has sold and sold within a decent amount of time. I always pick them up if I can get them at a good price. Um, and these were definitely a good price. So super excited to get those listed, especially as we are past the holidays. So of course I'm starting to think about spring and summer. Not really sure if these are going to do any good. These were purchased on a half price day at savers and they were $4.99 originally so we only paid $2.50 for these these are a little, <coughs> a little boy's pair of boat shoes but they're ll bean so i feel like they're def definitely going to do okay grab this pair of natives I, I think i'm throttling back on natives they have been sitting this is probably my third pair um not that i have this pair listed they were only a dollar at a yard sale but nonetheless they don't seem to be moving maybe it's a season thing though I do not know the style of the slipper, but these are UGG. These are in fabulous, fabulous condition. Um, they are a size six, um, just a little bit of wear on the bottom. They were $8 on a half price day, so we paid four bucks for these, thinking that these are gonna go somewhere around the $25 mark. Okay, I love selling Aria boots. That is, that is definitely a brand that moves for me, flies off the shelves. Even when I've had like crappy Aria boots, they have moved really, really quickly. So um, I was not too afraid to take a chance with these clogs. I thought they were really, really pretty. These are in a size eight. We also picked these up at Sabres on the half price day. So they were only um, 250. The leather of these shoes is like butter. So much like the Tory Burch, I'm just gonna take my Doc Martens Wonder Balsam to them and spiff them up and they will be beautiful. I have no idea what to expect in the way of comps. I'll definitely flash some up there. I'm thinking probably around the $40 mark, but that's really just a shot in the dark on my part. All right, these are a pair of Bruno Mogli. These are in good shape. I don't know what to think about Bruno Mogli. Okay, these were um, $10 on half price day, so we paid five bucks for this pair of shoes. I have one other pair of Bruno Mogli that are listed, and they're just getting zero attention. And when I go through the comps, it seems like some of them sell really fast and really high, and some of them don't sell at all. Or if they do, they go really low. And honestly, I cannot tell the difference. So let me know in the comments if you know the secret to what types of Bruno Mogli we need to be picking up um, and hoping that this pair is one of them. Also grabbed these Nate. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce them. It is N-A-O-T is the brand and it is a brand out of Israel. I've had tremendous luck selling them. These are a real comfort shoe. If you ever see this brand and you get them at a decent enough price, absolutely pick them up. Even, you know, any single pair that I've ever listed has always got so much attention and has always sold through. So these are a little bit small. These are just a size six and they're cute little Mary Jane, but they're in really good condition. And I especially love the bronze um, accents around the leather and the suede look super comfy. So hoping to get around the 30 to $35 mark for these. Here is another pair of those Super GA, Superga. I am murdering that. It is in a size 41, a Euro size 41. 
These are in aqua, which can not always be the easiest color to sell, but we're gonna give it a shot. And hey, this pair has its laces. So much like the other pair, I'll flash you some comps so you have a frame of reference. Um, but anyway, we only paid two bucks for these. Okay, next is this pair of boots. They um, have got a kind of a spiked heel and they are the brand Diba, D-I-B-A. They are made in Brazil. And if you can feel this leather, it is so soft and supple. Really, really beautiful. It has a couple of issues. Hoping that my um, Doc Martens balsam is just gonna clean that right up. I might also try using some of the Clark's leather cleaner. I've had a lot of luck using that on my leather boots too. These were $16 on half price day, so we paid $8 for these and I'll flash some comps up there. Um, I have absolutely no idea what to expect. These are in a size six, not the easiest size to move, but hoping we get some attention because they're so dang cute. Okay, we grabbed these at a yard sale for three bucks. These are Santoni um, made in Italy leather loafers. Really, really good condition. At least the leather is. There's some wear on the bottom, but you would expect that. These are in a size 12 and they have their original Nordstrom tag still on them. And these puppies sold for $3.45 and on sale for $2.29. So I don't know what to expect. I will put some comps up there for you to see. I'm estimating maybe $60 to $70 for these. I mean, they really are in great condition. Plus it's a big size. So really excited to pick these up. First time selling this brand. I grabbed these. These were at an estate sale on half price day. They were originally eight bucks. We paid four bucks and they are just an L.L. Bean vintage slippers. I have never sold L.L. Bean slippers before. What size is this? This is a size seven. Um, I'll tell you what, they look super, super comfy. Almost gives me vibes of, um, what is it? Mini Tonka. Okay, really, really cute. Now Karen swears that these have a fabulous sell-through rate. I will let you know. Um, thinking we'll get anywhere between $20 and $30 for them, but that's just a total shot in the dark on my part. Okay, these Skechers were only a dollar at a yard sale and we picked them up just because they're in such good condition. Almost like new condition. Skechers are just meh as far as I'm concerned. Um, do okay, but this is also a good size. They're in a size 10 um, and I thought they were pretty. I liked all the different colors and hey, they have their laces. This, um, I thought these were Dansko at first, um, but they are not. These are Sunita clogs and they're a little bit tiny, um, but they're pretty. They're in a nice patent leather. They do have some condition issues, just a little bit of scraping on the side. Um, again, I will clean these up and not thinking I'm going to get more than 18 to $20 for them, but hey, they were only two bucks. You can't beat that. I love picking up Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks always sell, just always, always, always. I have never had a pair of Birkenstocks that have not sold through for me. Um, I do not buy them when they're completely falling apart. This pair is in really, really good condition. As you can see on the back, it still has a lot of tread left. And even though there are these nasty little toe prints, I will take some warm soapy water and a toothbrush and I will scrub the snot out of it and just scrub it, scrub it, scrub it and scrub the heel and all of this area and you will be amazed at how clean it comes. Um, there is a video that I did on rescuing a pair of Birkenstocks. If you wanna check that out, I will make sure to link that in the description. Um, but it's, please do not be afraid of Birkenstocks if you see these toe prints because they are the easiest thing to clean. They don't come 100% perfect, but they come so much better and they increase the resale value tremendously. So I'm not even sure what size these are um, and I'm having trouble seeing a size in them. Oh, it looks like these are in a size 42. So what is that, like a 10? Great size. Um, so super excited to get these listed for the spring. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. These are just the walking shoe. Um, I have found that these um, comfort shoes do really well. 
I don't know what it is. I guess people just don't want to be wearing uncomfortable shoes, which really seems very commonsensical. These are in a size 38. So about a six, maybe six and a half. Um, really nice black suede. I will clean them up. Um, to clean up suede, all I do is take a toothbrush and vinegar and it cleans it up nicely. And then um, I just let it air outside to get rid of that vinegary smell. Um, but it really does a fabulous job of cleaning up all kinds of suede. So have no idea what to expect. I will flash some comps up there, but um, super excited to pick this pair up. Although TBH, I am really running out of space for shoes. Like have already run out of space for shoes. And so Karen gave me about a hundred pairs. So I don't know where I'm gonna put them all. These are cute. These are just little gap shoes, just little baby gap with the cute little rainbow plus easy on, easy off with the zippers. Probably about a 10 to $15 sale, um, but these were only 50 cents. Total Bolo, if you are not already picking these up, these are just Crocs, but not like the cloggy Crocs, although I'm told that they sell, although I really hate them. I don't, I mean, that's just not a style that I'm drawn to, but I love all these fancy Crocs and they sell for between 15 and $20 a pair. So, and you can usually get them dirt cheap. I, I have picked these up for a dollar. Case in point, this was a dollar at an estate sale. And to flip them for between 15 and 20, that's a great deal. So happy to pick these up. Make sure you are keeping your eyes out for Crocs because they are definitely something you want to have in your inventory. We are getting down there, okay? I just like these because they're leather and they're J. Crew. They are in a size seven and a half. They were eight bucks on half price day, so four dollars for these cute little Oxfords. Just real basic, and they were made in Italy, and the leather is super, super soft. Awesome condition, very minimal signs of wear. Probably gonna get somewhere around the $30 mark for these. And then the last pair of shoes is this pair of Converse, again with the Aqua. We paid, what is it? Oh, it doesn't say what she paid for them. Hmm. These are in a size six. They are Chucks, high tops, gorgeous. This is another item that has a fabulous sell-through rate for me. I love selling Chuck Taylors. They just move, always, always get a lot of attention. I'm a little bit hesitant about the aqua color because it's not a color that everybody loves to wear, but we will give it a shot, hoping to get between $25 and $30 for these. And I'm, I'll ask Karen what she paid for them because usually it's a magic marker on the bottom and it doesn't say. Um, I'll flash it up there when she tells me. All right, guys. Whew. That is everything for this shoe haul. If you like thrifting content, please consider joining our channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, drop us a comment, and we will catch you next time. Bye, guys.